Baby Kitty Crafty. Hello, Hello. and we are Creepy Cutie Crafty. Creepy Cutie Crafty. Hello and welcome again to our little crafting channel. And today we are having a go at origami. 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 Okay, so yes, we are doing origami today. We've got a couple of books here. One of which you can tell is a little bit old. I actually had this when I was Squinx's age. When I was about eight or nine, I bought this and I made lots of folding paper sculptures. And you have... I have And in this book, not only are there some nice simple tasks, but there are also some really nice origami paper we have got some basic origami paper here as well these are bigger sheets to practice with and once squinx has got a bit of practice under her belt then we're going to have a go at the smaller sheets here what we're going to do today is i'm going to demonstrate to squinx how to do a couple of very simple origami creatures that i learned years and years and years ago you guys have probably done them all yourselves i'm going to have a go at doing the spanish box and i'm going to have a go at doing the crane now the crane is a very famous origami bird and it's a bit of a story behind it but I'll tell you about it when I demonstrate it to you. Is there anything you want to say in the meantime Squinks? Remember to like, share, subscribe and take that notification bell I'm going to come up to your house and fold you. And fold you into a, an interesting new shape. That's a very interesting threat. She means it as well you know, she does. And so we're going to get on with it. This is basically a very cheap pack of simple coloured paper. There's no patterns on these ones. And I've got some sheets already prepared. This is my sheet I'm going to be demonstrating. And on these ones, to make it a little bit simpler for squinks, I've done a corner to corner line, just to make it easier to find the centre. So squinks, what's the first colour you would like to have a go at? Orange. Orange, so I'll have the yellow one. This is just for the first demonstration. The thing to remember with origami is you have to be very careful about your fold. The more exact it is, the better the finished item will be. Box. We're going to be doing the Spanish box first. I'm going to show you how to do this and at the halfway point of there is a very famous origami shape that everybody has done. It's the colour changer, the one that goes like that. That is just the halfway stage of the Spanish box. So we'll see if we can get that one done. So first things first, turn it over so that your line is on the outside and I want you to fold corner to corner making sure that the corners meet exactly. So you see I can, I've got the corners there meeting exactly. Follow the line down with my finger till I find the centre. That's it. And then whilst holding this hand in place with this finger, move it down to the corner and again this way. That way you shouldn't have any overlaps on the corners here. Mine's perfect. Yay! And then you do the same in the other direction. Yay. And try and do it nice and firmly so it's a nice sharp corner. Then open it up and fold it back on itself. Do the same, folding it square to square like that. So find the corner, find the other corner. I'm trying to hold that corner and that corner at the same time by spreading my hand out. I'm doing that and then do the same in the opposite direction. Now most origami folds require you to do this exact same thing every time. So it's always worth doing this right because it's the first fold that makes the rest of the origami work. It's actually stark. Back on itself. Oh, do I have to do this? Yep, you do, because it makes it more flexible for when you do the fold later. Right, next bit, take the corner and fold it to the point where they all meet in the middle. So let's do it nice and carefully. Do the same on every corner. <gasps> I can make like one of those fortune tellers. Yep, that's basically a fortune teller. Turn it over and do the same again. Like I say, you guys all recognise this. This is one of those fortune teller colour changer things. Put a comment in the comments down below. Have you actually ever done one of these fortune teller things? And did you know it could be turned into something else that's even more fabulous? Look, it is a fortune teller. It is, yep. And then you're so going you can, to fold you can, it. Yep, you can turn it into a fortune teller. So Turning it into a fortune teller by doing that. You can, if you've got like bicolored paper, you can turn it into a fortune teller, but we're not doing that. Opening it out flat, that's it, you've got the right mm -hmm. fold. So you've got the single fold there, 
and the double fold on the other side. You'll be doing a fold on both sides. First of all, with this one, what you need to do is fold it so that the corner reaches all the way out to the corner, nice and straight. And now we've got a box. Not quite yet, no, not quite yet. You could make a box from this one, but it's not quite as fancy as we want it to be. So you can see we've got all the corners folded over like that. Now with this one, I want you to bend that corner to that corner, huh? make that point, touch that point there where the fold is, like yeah. that. Like this. That's it. And then before you go on to the next one, fold this in half again, so that this line here meets this line here, okay? Like that. Okay, then open it up and turn that into a zigzag. So it's folding down, folding back, folding down, and then folding back again. So it's like a concertina, so it's like that. So pull, pull that one, that one, then back over, and then pull, pull that one back on the top like that. And do that on every single one of these corners. So you've got like a concertina there, and fold it nice and flat, and do the same on all four corners. It does look cool. Good track. I like the fact that yours has got two colours, so it looks like you've got an inside and an outside of the box. All right, make sure mm -hmm. those are nice and flat, because then fold it over, lay it down nice and flat. With these ones, fold them over until that point meets that line on the corner there. Like, for all the sides. For all the sides. And that's all you have to do. How is this a Spanish box? You will see because now comes the fun bit. It's like a flower. Turn it over again. It looks like a flower, yeah. Then, uh -huh. this is a tricky bit. Which you're going to have to do for me. I'm not going to do it for you. With this corner here, hold it like that. With this finger, push it inside like that. Yeah. And then pinch from that join there to the inside of that bit there. So. Shoot. I did that. That's fine. Keep doing it. This like is that. not a box. It's, it is a box, because look, you can then make these fan out a little bit to make it all fancy. If you want to, you can do things like putting some shredded up paper in the middle, make a little nest, and you can put on like mini eggs or chocolate buttons to give to people. You've done that really well. Perfect. I like yours, because yours has got the two coloured effect. Do you like that? What do I put in it? Yay! It's a little rabbit nest now. Okay, so, you pleased with that first one? Yes. Okay, so let's put that on the back over here. On to the next one. This one is going to be the crane. This is slightly more difficult, but we can do it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, what's the first thing we need to do? First things first, corner to corner. Okay, now for this one, we need these cross lines here. For every corner, you need to take a corner like this and fold it in line with that line there, which is why I drew your lines on. Okay, so you do that for every single corner all the way around. Now this is kind of an important origami creature, this is the crane, which is a bird. For Japanese people, this origami bird is supposed to bring you good luck, and if you make over a thousand of them, you get a wish. I don't know if you've heard about the nuclear bomb that went off in Hiroshima in Japan, but there was a little girl who got very, very sick afterwards, and she was told that if she made over a thousand cranes, she would get a wish. Unfortunately, she died before she made one thousand of them, and there is a memorial to that little girl, who I will put the information on the screen just now.
So sometimes these things have importance that you don't know about. I'm going to flatten mine out. This is the centre here, and you've got these points here. These points fold in like that, and then the next bit folds out until you get up, finish up with this kite shape. So that one, yep. And then you can pinch here to get this corner going down to the middle, and then bring the next corner. Dash it in. Hold on. And try and get all those corners nice and sharp. So you should have, like on the end, almost like a cross, and then you can squish one of those crosses flat. So you've got a flat shape like that. This is the final stages. Bring that up all the way over. So you're unfolding that fold. That's it. Turn it over. Do the same on the other side. All the way. That's it. Remember how we got the cross like that? You fold the cross in the opposite way and do the same there. And there, all the points meet at the top, yeah? So you could then have a shape like that, which is now going to turn into a bird. So, hold it there, see where that, you've got that cross coming there? Mm -hmm. Thumb and finger there, so you're pinching it, so you've got like a little cross there and there. Pinch it there on both sides. There. Yep, so you get one side like this and pull it forward, and then pinch it again so it doesn't move. Then you should have at the bottom, like two little loops, pull them down and fold them flat. And then do the same on the other side and fold flat so you've got that sort of shape almost like a crown then one of these where it meets the corner there fold it inside like that and then down to make a head that's so that's folded inside and then like that and that then is apparently a bird no like flat from this corner up to where you've got the fold there fold it forward turn it over and fold the other one in the same direction, like that, okay? And then you have your bird. There's a little secret with this one, actually. If you pinch here and you pinch here, <laughs> so you've got two little graceful flapping cranes. There we go. So what do you think of that one then, Squinks? Bird. You think bird. Do you like it? Yeah. But you can see what I mean about getting the folds absolutely perfect because then you get a nice sharp beak and a nice sharp tail and the fold moves really well. Have you enjoyed it so far, Squinks? Yes, yeah. and this is their nest. Look yeah, you can put them in the nest there, look. Little nest for their bird. There we go. That's what we've made so far. Hope you guys have enjoyed that so far. We'll be coming back in a bit. Right then, so we're on to the frog fold. I've already done corner to corner and half fold. First thing you need to do is bring these two corners together and pinch them together. Don't fold, just pinch. And then push that corner up till you get that shape and that shape, okay? If I hold it for you, that's it. Push up down, keep them folds nice and straight. That's it, there we go, that's the first corner done. And now you can do the other corner more easily. There you go. There we are. So that's the first part done. Next part is you bring this one up like this. Put your thumbs in the middle. Try and get it nice and flat all the way to the end. And keep the rest of it flat. Push that line down. So this in line there to there. Push it all the way to the end. Like that. So get that like that. Right. Push it down. Like that. All the way to the end. Like that. Then fold that over, do the same on all the four so other corners. Like that. Yeah, they should all be even. So same as we had before with the crane, try and get it so you've got the same number of folds on each side. So we've got one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. There we go. On to the next page. If you don't know, I'm using this book here and we're trying to do the fold. It's a bit of a complex one, but we can do it. Now this one, you're going to need to listen because this is where it gets complicated. So you lift this up and pull it open so that you see this line here, see the line with this line here. Mm -hmm. Do the same on the other side, like that, okay? And then fold flat. Right, so pull that one up, push it flat, like that. Do the same on all of the other sides. I guess 
asking the first time anybody ever did origami they didn't make it perfect did they and we've got this shape now so on each side flip over one thing so that you've got flat on top and flat underneath so diamond look it's a sim character it's a sim character it's like Bling! you're happy you're happy do you guys play the sims comment below and would you like to have this as your sim plum bob now the next thing we do is we fold this corner here to the middle so you've got the opening on this end this end's closed this end's open see the line in the middle there that edge in line with the middle and do the same on both sides so you can see what i've done is on the line in the middle fold it across put this edge on the line and then we'll do the same on the opposite side Okay, and so we do the same oh, yeah. on the other side. So you sort of divide it into half that way and that way. Okay, so, and now one flips over there and one flips over there. So you should have a shape like that. It's starting almost to look like a frog, isn't it? Can you mm -hmm. see? Does that look like a frog to you guys? Legs, maybe, legs, maybe, legs, legs, maybe it's, legs, it's a bit of a tadpole, isn't it? It's like a tadpole. No, it's, it's a mushroom with legs. Mom, okay. Mom, look. It's a mushroom with legs. Okay. Legs, 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 right, let's get on to the next legs, bit then. Right, so the first one, you um see the top layer here. Fold that one going up. What? Like that. How do I do that? I'll show you again on the other side. So, top one, fold it inside like this and up to make sure that that edge is in line with that one there. So that's like the, the frog's arms. And then turn it over. And with this one, you're doing the fold again, but you're doing it so it's sticking out like that. Hope you guys are following this at home. So that's how your frog's turned out. It's a frog doing the splits at the moment. No, 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 wait, move yours, move yours. Meow. This, Meow. This it's, like, it's, like a jet, it's a jet plane, isn't it? Meow. It's a frog farting. Okay, so for this one, we need to have another reverse fold in the middle to make a leg like that. It's illegal to move your legs like that, I think. And like that. And then with this one, what do I do? Out like that. What? Fold it inside out like we did with the crane's head. Wow. And you can do that one there. That's it. It's breakdancing. Breakdancing frog. <laughs> okay, okay. This is the last stage. So we're going to give it a couple of little hands and little feet. Just do another little reverse fold there. And you do the same on the legs. Some nice frog's legs sticking out like that. And now, we have the fun bit. See that little hole that you're poking into? Yeah. One flippy frog. I am not blowing into my frog's <laughs> Go on. That looked so wrong. And one frog. What do you reckon then? I'd rather have mine a bit. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. I'm like a stabby stab. <laughs> You're a stabby, stabby frog. So these are all the things we've managed to make today. Tell us at home, guys, have you ever done origami? If you've ever done origami before, what did you make? And how did it go? And how did it turn out? Because this is all very new to Squinks, and I've done this a few times before. But even though I've done it before, it can be quite tricky. Maybe next time we can have a go at doing some origami with the coloured paper instead, the, the pattern paper instead. I'm quite pleased with how they turned out, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Now I'd like to make a cat. Out of origami. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. If you've had a go at origami yourself, please let us know and share some pictures with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, or else we'll poke your eyes out. <coughs> yeah, so we've got, we've got threatening paper cranes as well now. <gasps> oh my god, I got a perfect thing. Ribbit. <laughs> we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. bye, -bye.